Hello everyone. Hope you are trying to do the best in these lockdown days. In the previous videos we discussed about silent letters. And in this video I would like to discuss with you clause. What is a clause? As far as the definition is concerned, clause is a group of words, subject to a combination and it gives complete sense. These are the features of a clause. And here we have an example, she goes to market. Of course, it's a group of words, four words are given there, a group of related words. Now see, subject to verb combination, it has a subject and a verb. So, subject to verb combination. It gives complete sense. Where does she go? She goes to market. So it gives complete sense. And so she goes to market is a clause. Clauses are of two types. Dependent and independent. Dependent. As the word indicates, it is dependent on something. It has no complete sense. And it depends on an independent clause. Whereas if you consider independent clause, it has complete sense. It is a sentence. And so it can stand on its own. Now, here we have an example. Whenever it is possible, of course, you can find a subject and verb in it. Subject verb combination is a, it's a group of words. But it doesn't give complete sense. It doesn't give complete meaning. But whereas if you consider, you may complete your work. You have the subject and verb. You complete. So subject verb combination is a group of words. And of course it gives complete sense. You may complete your work. Now, we have a sentence here. You may complete your work whenever it is possible. Now we see in a sentence how dependent clause is used. Here we have the sentence. You may complete your work. And in addition to that, you are given a dependent clause whenever it is possible. So you can see as it is given in the sentence, whenever it is possible is a dependent clause. And as it cannot stand on its own, it is used in a sentence. Then how is it important in a sentence? Because it gives additional meaning or it gives meaning to the main sentence. Clauses are divided into two types. Dependent clause and independent clause. Independent clauses are sentences as they are able to stand on their own as it has complete sense. Now, how do we use dependent clauses in sentences? Based on their functions in the sentences, they are mainly divided into three types. Noun clause, adjective clause, adverb clause. Noun clause. If you consider noun clause, it's a group of words, subject verb combination is there. And its function is, it acts as a noun in a sentence. So we have an example here. I know that you are ready for the test. That you are ready for the test is a noun clause here because it comes as the object. Adjective clause. Adjective clauses are also group of words which has subject to a combination in it. And it acts as an adjective. Adjective qualifies a noun. So here we have adjective clause because it is a group of words a group of words qualifies something an example the boy who sings well won the prize if you consider here who sings well who sings here we have used a relative pronoun which tells about the boy which stands instead of the boy and who sings well it tells about the quality of the boy. So the boy won the prize. That is the main clause in it. That is the independent clause. And we have used 
who sings well in order to qualify the subject the boy we can also say the boy who dances well the boy who studies well so that tells whether the boy is good at studies good at singing good at dancing and so on now we have adverb clause adverb clause is a group of words which are subject verb combination and it acts as an adverb adverb qualifies a verb or adjective or another adverb here unless you study well you will fail you will fail when unless you study well if you don't study well unless you study well if you don't study well here we can consider these as adverb clause so based on the functions dependent clauses are divided into three types noun clause adjective clause and adverb clause